with week 10 NFL predictions, and this week we have a special guest analyst, Ross Roberts! What's up? What's up, buddy? Welcome to set. How are you? How are you? Thank you. We've been dying to have this kid on the set. He knows his sports. He's our guest analyst for tonight. As we talk about the week 10 predictions and dissect tonight, Thursday night football game against the Browns and the Ravens. So let's start. So the Browns and the Ravens. First off, we got our predictions out the way. Who we got? I think it's I Ravens. think it's Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> I obviously have the Ravens. 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 Yeah. By a comfortable margin. Yeah. But let's talk about this game. Well, news out that Cody Kessler will be starting as a rookie quarterback. Normally they go against Josh McCown, who the Ravens have trouble with. Usually pretty good against rookies, but who knows this year? We'll have to see what happens tonight. Yeah. I believe the Ravens' keys to their success is they get pressure on this rookie quarterback. The doors are wide open. I'm hoping that Flacco can improve. He's looked a lot really shaky this year. I'm not going to lie. Hurts me to say it, but he has looked real shaky this year. I'm hoping that he shows up next with his receiver and we have a good offensive game. Yeah, and it was you know a close one the last time out when the Ravens played the Browns in Cleveland, uh, but it was a different quarterback for them, and they had a hot start. Ravens did come back and win. I think the script's a little different this time around with the rookie quarterback and the Ravens being at home. I don't see how the Browns are going to get their first win this week. I will. I, hey, I'll never. I'll, I'll always say never say never. There was that one year that Miami was pretty much have not won one game. They were one winless. Game. They were winless, and then they won and beat Baltimore. So I'm not going to say it can't happen, but I think if Baltimore stays focused, he get pressure on the quarterback. Joe Flacco shows up tonight, hooks up with his receivers, and they get a good running game going on to balance it all out. He got a great game here for the Ravens. Yeah, it's going to be very unlikely Cleveland get this done. So yeah. Get the running game going. Mm-hmm. Going against the 31st ranked defense with Cleveland. Ravens don't have top ranked offense, but... We have the weapon to so get one done. Yeah. So, again, I think we all are in agreement with the Ravens. Let's go on to the other games, Sunday games and Monday game. First up, we have the Texans and the Jaguars. I'm going to go with the Texans this week. I'm also going to go with the Texans here. We're talking about the first-ranked AFC South team against the last-ranked Texans. Uh, found a... Young uh, tight end and C.J. Fedorowicz that could prove to be a future star. Lamar Miller's doing well. And, of course, the defense is probably their big, biggest selling point. I just don't think the Jaguars have enough firepower to win it. No, nah, it's, it's, we're all on the same page here with Houston. I mean, Blake Bortles still hasn't proven himself to be a quarterback. You got J.J. Watt coming at him. It's not going to look good. Yeah. Next up, we have the Broncos taking on the Saints. I think this one is going to be a great game. It's in New Orleans. I'm going to go with the Saints this weekend. I'm also going to go Saints. I'm a little reluctant to make the pick because I know how bad their defense is. But I think at home, they'll find a way to squeak this one out and win against the Broncos. Yeah, same here. Saints, Broncos on a new running back again. C.J. Anderson is gone for the season. Quarterback still in flux. And Gerald said it's in New Orleans. It's hard to, hard to beat the Saints at the Dome. All right, Tim. Next up, we have your LA Rams taking on the New York, flying actually out here to take on the New York Jets, 3,000 miles away. I'm gonna give this game to the Jets. Then they're gonna they're gonna have a victory this weekend. Well, I'm gonna pick the Rams. Uh, you know, they made it made it real close against the Panthers last week. Um, heartbreaking to see them not pull it out, but. Uh, the Jets have been very good this year, and I think they can walk in there and do some damage against that team. Yeah, they might have not have good, good, but that 3,000 mile plane ride, never easy. Yeah. You're coming from Los Angeles, going up to New York in November, it's already starting to get cold up there, and that stadium already has tough winds. Said so you're going west coast to east coast, I'm going with the Jets. Yeah, I mean, that jet lag, the temperatures. It, I mean, the elements are against the Rams. It's also the same Jets that beat the Ravens. <laughs> the same Jets to beat the Ravens. In the Meadowlands. Yeah. And that's a crazy stadium to play in. Next up, we have the Falcons taking on the Eagles in Philly. Now, the Eagles have been a bit shaky this so far. I think, you know what? No, I'm, I'm still going to go with the Falcons. I was going to see if they could pull out a miracle, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm confident. 
I'm also going with the Falcons. I'm actually going to start calling fluke alert on the Eagles. I think their hot start was just what it was, a hot start, and they're going to start struggling the rest of this season. And you know, the Falcons should be able to beat them this week. Well, I've been waiting for one of these. Both are wrong. I'm going with the Eagles. <laughs> Atlanta team coming outside of their lovely dome down in Georgia. Another thing just like the Rams coming up north, going to Philadelphia. That's a stadium who booed and threw snowballs at Santa. Not an easy place to go play. You can stop Julio Jones. Tough town. There's not going to be something you can do. And said Eagles, they can get something going. It's at home. I don't think you're going to let that one go. All right. Wow. What a decision. <laughs> Next up, you have the Chiefs taking on the Panthers. And I think I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the Panthers. I, I, I want to see them win. I, I just want to see I want to see a successful game. I'm going Kansas City Chiefs. They've got their defense back and healthy. Justin Houston's back, and they've really turned it on since that happened. Uh, sure, I mean, they played well without him back when they played the Jets earlier in the year and got six picks on Fitzpatrick, but since then, haven't done much till Houston came back, and now with the defense fresh, we're going to be seeing one of the top defenses in the league, and they should be able to contain Cam Newton. Well, Cam Newton's always a dangerous threat. Cam, you know. Carolina's defense, it's starting to get rolling. You always got Luke Keekley right there in the middle. It's going to be hard once again. You're going down to one of the stadiums in the South. They love their football down there. Go with the Panthers. It's going to be close, but I think the Panthers. The Panthers are going to have that home victory. Just a little bit. Next up, we have the Bears and the Buccaneers in Tampa. You can go with the Bucs. Yeah, this one's actually close for me to call. Uh, I guess I'll go Bucks since they do have the home game, but they've been pretty shaky. Uh, you know, both not, neither teams are that good. I mean, let's be honest. But uh, I will take the Bucks on this one. Well, I'm going with the Bears. No real reason. Just I think there's a better team here. All right. Next up, we have the Vikings going to FedEx Field outside of Washington D.C. to take on the Redskins. I think the Redskins are going to pull off a victory. Again, you're playing in FedEx Field. It's going to be a good game. Uh, well, the Vikings have been in a bit of a slump lately, but I will pick them for this game. I believe they'll be able to run against the Redskins' defense, and I don't think that Kirk Cousins, even though he has been hot lately, is going to be able to shred that Vikings' defense. It could end up being very close, but I will pick the Vikings. Uh, I'm going to go with the Vikings on this one. I think, you know, Teddy Bridgewater can hit with uh, Stephon Diggs, basically coming home. American game, play to Maryland, playing to FedEx Field. It was a home game, basically, for him. And I think he's going to put on show and he's going to pull the Vikings to the win. Right. Next up, we have the Green Bay Packers having the Tennessee to take on the Titans. I'm going to go with the Packers. I'll go with the Packers as well. I mean, the Titans... Uh, they haven't been horrible this year. They've really shown they can run the ball, can play some decent defense. Uh, but it's hard to pick against Aaron Rodgers, so I'll take the Packers. It, no, yes, normally I'd agree, but Mariota's a hot quarterback right now. I would take Mariota over Rodgers right now with how he's playing, how he really? can run the ball. How he's playing, how he can run the ball. He's putting up points. Yeah. They are going to win. I'm going with the Titans. Right. It just surprised me. I don't yeah, know. I mean, Rod me off guard. Rodgers is not having a Rodgers type beer. He's yeah. throwing more interceptions, not throwing as many touchdowns. I'm just hoping that it's one of those just, you know, off seasons. Still Aaron Rodgers fan. Hmm. Next up, Miami Dolphins taking on the San Diego Chargers. Who you got? I think, I think I'm going to go with the Chargers. Home field advantage. Um, nice weather down in Southern California. I mean, both teams are used to that weather. But I think the Chargers. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with the Chargers, but you know, with one ca caveat here, they gotta find a way to stop Jay and Jai. Yeah. Dude's lighting it up, and yeah, that's gonna be the key factor here. Can they contain the running game? If they can force Tannehill to throw the ball, uh, their chances of success are gonna go up a lot. But they gotta find a way to stop the run. I'm just agree. Ever since Jay has been running the ball, two straight games, two in the yards, tried to be the third, gonna get it done. But even that started first three carries negative, then busted a 20 plus yard touchdown run. It's going to be tough. If they can get Tannehill to beat them, they'll win. So I'm going to go with the Chargers, though. All right. Next up, we got the 49ers 
and the Cardinals and the 49ers. I just don't think they're going to win another game this season. I'm going with the Cardinals. Well, it's a divisional matchup, so a lot of times these things can go either way. But I will take the Cardinals. Uh, you know, Chip Kelly, sorry, but you might be out of a job after this year. Uh, I don't know that you're making the 49ers a whole lot better. Uh, now, you can't totally write off Kaepernick, you know, for someone that's been a second string and then came in to start middle of the season. He hasn't done bad. We're not, we're, but I mean, again, you expect them to win. I'm sorry to cut you off, but I mean, you expect them but, to win. But yeah, I mean, all this to say, <laughs> I'm still going to pick the Cardinals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, Kaepernick, yeah, he's been good, but I still see the old Kaepernick in there. I mean, he's not too old, though, because he doesn't want to run as much. He's not, yeah. and I, it's in Arizona. I mean, you got. Carson Palmer, Larry Fitzgerald, even Larry Fitzgerald, this age, they moved him inside. He's been killing it. So, going Cardinals. Where you need him. Next up, we got the hot Dallas Cowboys taking on the Steelers, who suffered a horrible, horrible victory last week to my Ravens. I'm going to go with the Cowboys. They're going to march into Pittsburgh, and they're going to just going to take away at the Steelers. I think the Steelers are aged. I think I love what's going on down in Dallas. As long as Romo's not playing, and it's Dak Prescott, you know, and Ezekiel Elliott. That that combo right there, that's Batman and Superman right there. That's the dynamic duo. And they're those young guys are running it. They're running the league. Well, it's a game that could go either way from my perspective, but I will take the Steelers just because, as it turns out, Ben Roethlisberger is more healthy than we thought he was. I knew he was going to play. And as long as Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown are on the field and Le'Veon Bell's back, they're going to be able to compete at home. And I'll, I say they edge it out and win this round. Yeah, as much as it hurts me wearing this jersey, I'm going with the Steelers. I mean, they just had a horrible, horrible loss there at Baltimore. They don't like to lose back-to-back. -back. Dak has been starting to get a little, you know, shaky. They're going to Heinz Field. Steelers still have a tough defense. Yeah, our running backs aren't compared to Ezekiel Elliott, but they shut us down pretty well. I mean, we got a special team block for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. And he saw at the end, we gave up 14 points. So, and I just, I'm going for Steelers. It's in Heinz Field. I think that's going to help him. I think just looking at the Cowboys in, I've almost kind of became like a quasi fan of them. Just what they've done this year. It's impressive, man. Hey, you got a rookie quarterback running back. And that's season. what I was about to go, you know, I was about to go to the point of saying, you know, being a Ravens fan, you, you're, you're used to witnessing half your that series games in Pittsburgh. That's a tough way. I think I, I am I am clearly giving them the Cowboys the victory, but I think if the stadium does get to them, that, that's a tough place to play. If they can get through the fact that they're in Heinz Field, if they can somehow establish a run game, the victory is theirs. Of course, they did play good run defense against us. I mean, again, we don't exactly have an Ezekiel Elliott, though. No. I mean, but still, I'm not taking away from our running backs. Yeah. But I do believe, I do believe that the Cowboys can, I think they can pick up a win here. As it, long as Ramos not the quarterback. It wouldn't surprise me if they do win. Yeah. Then I'm picking them mainly because of Heinz Field. Yeah. But if they put Romo in, that's just that's a whole other it's story to talk about. Game, uh, I think it's gonna be a great game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right now, Dak plays, Ben plays, another week. It's gonna be and it's gonna be a good game. It can go either way, but mm -hmm. so I'm giving Heinz Field. Alright. Next up we got the Seahawks taking on the Patriots in New England. Tom Brady, man. Yeah. There's nothing else need to be said. <laughs> He's the man with the golden arm. The Patriots is with a clear victory. Well, I'll pick the Patriots, and it more has to do with the fact that Russell Wilson has not been the quarterback we expected him to be this year. You know, his stats just aren't there. Plus, the running game is kind of in a flux now, too. Yeah. I mean, Kristen Michael in the last game didn't do a whole lot. So, yeah, I'd be concerned if I was the Seahawks, and I'm going to give this one to the Patriots. Yeah, give it to the Patriots. Said Russell Wilson hasn't played like we thought he was or like he has. Don't got the same running game. Another one, Foxborough. They played there many times. Not easy. Not, Not easy, easy to play there. It's a cold place. It gets cold. <laughs> it gets cold. It gets cold. And oh man, it's I mean it's like what mid November too. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. I mean, a see, I mean, see how see how still playing the warmest place. Yeah. But that's another. That's a long trip. That's a long trip. Another 3,000 miles. That's Seattle mm -hmm. to New England. Yeah. Seattle's one of the long, farthest cities people have to fly to and from. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Again, clear victory, Patriots. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, Monday Night Football. We got the Bengals taking on the Giants, and I think the Giants are going to pull off another victory, you know? As much as I... I mean, I don't like the Bengals, obviously, but I don't like the Giants either. But the Giants, clear victory. Yeah, it's two teams that aren't so great, but aren't so bad either. And I could see it going either way, but I will pick the Giants just like Joe Woods. It's going to come down to what top name receiver gets going. Will it be A.J. Green of the Bengals, or will it be Odell Beckham of the Giants? I'm going with Odell Beckham. He somehow still pulls it off, even with everything that's going on, and he can break a tackle and run 75 yards, easily. Go with the Giants. That's our games for the week. Thanks, Ross, for being a special guest. No uh, yeah, really like how you gave us that uh, whole airline analysis. You yeah. know, how many miles fly? Yeah, you know, you don't really think about it, man. <laughs> hey, that's a. Hey, I watch a lot of college football as a BYU fan. When they came out here to play West Virginia, that airline flight made a whole lot of difference. I mean, there have been years where the Ravens had two West Coasters back to back. They flew out there. They stay out there. Yeah. Not good. Not good flying back and forth. That's why I'm glad when I see sometimes a part of the West Coast trip is Dallas or Houston. I mean, they don't have to go to the West Coast. Every country, cross country, East Coast to West Coast, West Coast to East Coast, it's not easy. Yeah. Got a plane for five hours. So a big thank you to Ross, big thank you to Gerald and the rest of the team. This is week 10, and we hope you have a good night and enjoy the games this week. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe below, share our videos, and let us know what you think. Take care.